Greetings and welcome to my channel. This is the first video of many videos I hope and the first thing I would like to let you know is that I'll be doing these videos based on my personal experience in life, my spiritual journey, my path. So the personal critiquing, please keep it to a minimum and no trolling at all. Don't troll because I don't want negativity on the page. That's just not something I'm trying to convey or feed. The trolls will not be fed. You'll just be deleted. Uh, and I would hope that anyone that watches these videos wouldn't, don't, don't encourage them by feeding them, by answering them or sla slandering them back or in any way, shape or form. Just leave them alone. Uh, having said that, I'd like to, uh, say that you would, I, I don't mind if you point out, well, maybe we could discuss this. Hey, you want to know my take on a particular subject? Hey, leave a video response. Leave a, uh, leave something in comments. No problem with that whatsoever. You know, feedback, back and forth. That's all I want from you. That's all I'm going to give to you. I'm going to give to you small pieces of my life and feedback. It lets me know you're A, paying attention, B, you actually care what's being talked about and discussed, and C, I want you to know that I care that you would like to talk about certain topics. I have no problem talking about different things other than my particular take on things. Alright, so uh, also, I'm not perfect. I'm never going to try and convince you that I'm perfect. Uh, don't put me on a pedestal. I will just step down off of it and you'll be disappointed. I, uh, I'm i a very good teacher, but that doesn't mean that I'm better than you. That just means that I maybe experience life more, more, well, not more of anything, just differently. I just have a different take, a different point of view, a different perspective. I walked a different, slightly different path than most of the people. Uh, it's not a reason to put me out in front of you. Because if you put me out in front of you, I'll just stop and wait for you to catch up, and then we can walk together. That's how that works. So, yeah, not perfect. Matter of fact, I am what people would consider a roughneck. I, I grew up doing construction, uh, landscaping, things where you're working with your hands and you're sweating. Uh, I'm a truck driver by trade. I'm a professional driver. So, uh, And that's... Kind of the reason why I want to make this page. I noticed that most of the pages you go to, everyone's all, everyone's soft and and namaste and just peace, peaceful, just very peaceful. And there are those of us that are very super spiritual, but we're just we're not peaceful, and we're not living the type the the, the kind of life, the type of life where you can just sit still. Uh, this would also, I guess, apply to busy parents. Uh, business types that are always on the go, got to go, got to go. Uh, truck drivers especially because that's the reason why this became important to me because I was on the road. I've been to almost every one of the connected 48 states in a, in a semi. So I've seen the, the lack of overlap there. There's, there's no coverage. It's like cell coverage and there's no coverage for those types of people. And they, they, they believe they're being left behind. And I would like to let them know there are certain techniques that you can use. And, you know, you're, you're a businessman. I don't have the time. Every, I, most of the videos you see, well, if you have 20 minutes, if you're a parent, you don't have 20 minutes. Your child can do a lot of damage in 20 minutes. So you don't have 20 minutes. You're a businessman. You don't have 20 minutes. But I, I can say from personal experience, because being a parent and a busy person, always on the go, uh, if you've got time to walk from your house to your vehicle, do you have time to drive that vehicle? Do you have time to get out of that vehicle, go into the building, and then walk to your office? You've got time. You've got time to drive that big rig? You've got time. You've got time to care for your children? You've got time. And I will teach you my way of incorporating all of that into what I have to teach you. Hopefully you'll add it to your life and make your life better. I would hate to see a comment, oh, I, I did what you tried and my house blew up. What? Sorry. <laughs> that was not my intention. <laughs> Trying to be helpful. <laughs> but you understand. 
I found the, the techniques and, and it's a trial and error. It's trial and error. It's taking the things that I've learned and applying it to how I lived. And instead of changing my lifestyle, which would have been completely impossible, I changed how I incorporated things into my lifestyle. Uh, and I, I hope nobody gets offended if I don't switch up my format to please certain people, but I'm not here to please. I'm here to convey a message, and I hope that it's well received, and if it's not, I apologize for that. But I don't apologize that it's different and it's not going to change. It will evolve as I evolve in this particular format. But other than that, no. It's it's me and you, Chief. I'm going to be helping you. You're going to be helping me. We're going to be helping each other. Uh, I have a really good sense of humor. So I'll, you'll, you'll see that breaking the spiritual character quite often because I want to make you laugh. I like to laugh. You're free to come with me. Why am I you were like that that seemed inappropriate. No, it's not inappropriate, okay? I have a dirty sense of humor, I have a very, very good sense of humor. It's uh think about it this way. Human laughter is the single most powerful source of positive energy that a human can create without mechanical assistance. That's not to diminish love. Now now hear me out. Love is like the ocean. Once you're in it, you don't feel, it doesn't seem as vast. It's just waves, right? And yes, the waves can knock you to and fro, and they're very strong, and you can get smashed upon the rocks. But think about that versus a fire hose. It's on you right now. You know it. You feel it. There is no waiting for the waves to crash, no waiting for the waves to knock you into the rocks. It's there. It's now. So it's it's relative in terms. It, in its vastness, love seems not to be as strong but laughter creates that just immediate spark of positive energy so I like to laugh you're welcome to come with me if you don't appreciate humor you should probably go somewhere else because I'm I make myself giggle a lot <laughs> anyway I'm gonna change the direction that my first video was gonna go I was going to get all into my life story. We'll do we'll do that on the next one. Get to know me as a, as a my journey from as far back as I can remember to now. The entire and it, it, the important uh, the important parts the those blink moments those epiphany moments where you're like ah oh, something sunk in and now I have wisdom and understanding. Those are the moments that I'm going to try and convey and how and where and blah 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 but right now I just like I'm changing the format I decided to do that this morning I've been trying to record this video for three days uh, first I couldn't get my software up and running on my computer so I had to get new I had to get an external webcam and I had to get all kinds of different software and it's like it, it's been a nightmare <coughs> excuse me but uh yeah and yesterday was topped off by uh my daughter came up with a plan with a friend to run away now my daughter when i questioned my daughter it wasn't anything that's going on here in this house in her life it was her friend claimed that she was being abused and wanted to extricate herself from the situation and decided to take my daughter with her <coughs> quick thinking and uh, a little bit of help from the other child's mother we found the children safely and we took them home and as I, w I wanted to convey this part this is the most important profound thing this is one of those epiphany moments I guess that I was said I was going to talk about in the next video as my anger subsided I realized why I was angry the anger was like a defense mechanism to buffer me to buffer me from feeling the the complete terror, anxiety, the betrayal, the heartbreak, all that. I mean, as the anger comes down, it goes through all those emotions that was blocking out for you, and it was it was fear, uh, sadness, betrayal, uh, just devastation. I those one of those moments where, like, imagine this. 
those moments where you do something horrible or someone does something horrible to you and then you go to bed and then when you wake up the next morning you, you, your immediate thought was oh that was just a dream and then it sinks in it hits you again oh it wasn't a dream yeah that's that's how I woke up this morning that's how profound yesterday's events were and it occurred to me when I was talking to my daughter the reason she did it well I wanted to be there for my friend she was being abused and she was going to run away and I wanted to be there for my friend and I I just thought wow that is that's that's deep it doesn't make it a better decision but then on the same token how can that be a bad decision just her reasoning the and it's not about good intentions it's about I mean think about it if she were an adult think of it from your point of view making that same decision I want to be there for my friend not only would we have agreed with her but we would have helped finance it think about that so that if you're telling me the only difference between that and this is that she's not an adult then it's not about good intentions it's about she made the proper choice but she didn't go through the proper chain I guess, I guess you should say she didn't just she didn't she came she reached a conclusion and they came up with a solution instead of thinking thinking about the conclusion they didn't say well maybe we should talk to somebody maybe we should get an adult's opinion on what's going on and then make our decision they just said conclusion decision this is what we're doing and then come to find out that the child is completely dishonest and my my kid was getting taken for a ride and literally and had we not found them I live in Arizona and I don't know if any of you live in Arizona or know about Arizona but they would have disappeared and I would have never seen my daughter again and when you wake up with that on your mind and in your chest that's a heck of a thing to wake up to it's like waking up and your mind gives you a split second that's that second that you feel like oh it was just a dream that's your mind saying okay wait for it wait for it and then poof oh yeah it wasn't a dream I am in jail <laughs> or they did leave or yeah my car is still totaled you know one of those profound something really bad just happened moments and my daughter had the same moment this morning she was having that moment last night so were we we were all in shock you did what just the betrayal of trust it was uh, and that's not even my biggest thing my biggest thing was look what you've done to you my biggest thing was look at the people you've affected now this is gonna come back you know those ripples you just sent out are gonna come back and uh, I think she gets it I think she understands but that was I don't know why but it was so profound that she didn't leave because of her situation she left because of her friend's situation that shows a level a level of depth of character that most adults can't seem to muster up and uh, so I decided I was gonna change the video to, to, to that as a topic and yeah I feel better talking about it and If you're still here listening, then I'm glad you stuck around. We'll get into the more esoteric or spiritual or whatever you want to call it. We'll get into that on my next video. But for this first video, that's what I want to talk about. That was the most immediate and profound thing that's happened to me in my in in my life today. So that's what we talked about. And next video, we'll get to meet me a little bit better, and uh, the video should be a little bit longer and then after that this is the introduction next time I'll, I guess we call it the meet and greet tell you my name and all this and that but for now I just want to say welcome greetings welcome to my page I hope you will enjoy the videos to come and I hope I will enjoy your patronage comments video responses whatever you want to leave me alright having said that you guys take it easy have a good one